you were going to say something right after him. Okay. Um, something in me feels some nervous right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I've learned so far. <laughs> okay. Um, yesterday, uh, or the day before yesterday, we, we saw one of your DVDs. Oh, yeah. And uh, I thought it was... Um, uh, beautiful what you said about uh, culture. About? And culture. Culture, yes. And the human beings. You, yes. I, I'm going to quote, but it's not an exact quote of what you said. You sure. said in a, in a humorous way, you said that if you want a good professional, pick a German. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but if you want a good friend, culture knows nothing about it. Yes. Uh, uh, and I wonder, uh, but if you could elaborate more on this. Okay. And just one more question. Yes. Uh, in the DVD, um, you, said a lot, you said a lot of this, I don't know. Uh -huh. I don't know. And I felt like, uh, what do you mean uh, when you say, <laughs> I don't know? <laughs> Well, I can, I can actually answer that, because when you ask that question, what do you mean when you say, I don't know? I was already looking at a whole array of different things that I might have meant when I said, I don't know, because it's so different. Some things I don't know, I really know, but there is no way to say it that wouldn't be wrong some way. And some things I only know that there is such a thing. For instance, on this grounded business, or, or God, or whatever you want to call that big thing, I know it's always there, even if I'm not there. And I was going to say that, and I forgot it. That's a kind of reassurance that I have, that I, I know it's there, even if I don't feel it. It's not the same thing as my being grounded, but it's something. So there are things I don't know that are like that. I know they're there, but I don't know how they work, or I don't know what they are, or I don't know how to answer a question. And on those, if I had to work on them, I would, like in theory, I would work on why I think that's an important question. Because that I know. <laughs> and that's what I recommend people. If you, if you hit a blank, then you can get a felt sense of why you even came here, why you asked that. And then you know something again. So there's always something I know, even when I don't know. <laughs> okay, the other question, is uh, other topic really, don't let's call it a question, because then it seems like I can answer it, and that's a little too large. I feel that it's really important to recognize in yourself, because then you can be sure, to recognize in yourself that every individual human being has gone way far beyond the culture that they come from or live in. And if you happen to belong to two different cultures, then you know that without having to work on it because you're always beyond each culture because you've already been in the other one and so you know how ridiculous this one is and then you also know how ridiculous the other one is because you've been in this one. But uh, if you don't have that, people are trying to sell us the idea that it all comes from culture. And when I look really closely, uh, they don't know that. It's a lazy way they have. And I, I think, let's be more specific, no human being grows up without culture. But when you, when you come out of the womb, you already are so much. You are this incredibly complicated creature that's going to create the whole human being. And the one that comes out of the womb looks right at you, you know? And you know somebody's there, and that's before culture. You know, okay, culture influences in the womb too some. But anyway, I'm not denying culture. We all come from there. We can be grateful to the culture, or angry, that doesn't matter. Uh, but no human being, no 12-year-old, no 5-year-old is not way beyond the culture that we come from. And you know that in yourself if you look there. 
And that's true of every human being. So let's be more specific about culture. You know, let's not say that the culture makes all those things. The culture gets us started. It makes a lot of things. Did I answer it? I, in, in relate in Say relation a little louder. To, in relation to to, yeah. to that uh, you call sometimes a human being versus the culture uh, the excess uh, the excess yes the excess humans are ex exceeds always ah, yeah. culture yeah yeah um, and um, also I think about human development in the way. Uh, developmental psychology treats human development. Yes. Uh, what do you have to say about that excess in relation to that human development exceeding culture? Well, exceeding is the kind of word that you use when you believe there is excess, overflow. Postmodernists talk about excess all the time. So the, the word is not very good, but what it means, well, all of all of that stuff, psychology and social science and all that, you have to appreciate it as far as it goes and always know that it doesn't go far enough. It's like even one experiment will reveal something that we're glad to know, okay. But to do the experiment, you have to cut everything up in little units and you have to relate them a certain way and build instruments and tests and all that. And by the time you get the finding, it has a meaning, but only in that context, with those assumptions, with those units cut up that way. You say, oh, I see, you know, your finding is this and that. So uh, when I studied developmental psychology, it was full of assumptions that I couldn't share. More recently, it's probably gotten better, but I don't know if it has or not. <laughs> Is that what you meant, sort of? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. Thank you.